Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Persis Plays RimWorld. As always, there's a link to the video description. There's a link in the video description to the playlist, so you can skip around, uh, watch them in a row if you want to. So, we're picking up where we left off. In between videos, I went and, like, manually cut some raspberry bushes and stuff just to get some of the, uh, some of this goddamn, uh, kibble made so our animals don't starve while this huge field of corn that got ravaged by a blight gets grown. So, that's going on right now. And I'd like to also... We have a ton of heel root. Let's go ahead and delete... Where is it? Where is it? Man, I'm blind. Alright, no, actually I had this set only on the uh, stuff here, so... I think I did that on purpose. Let's get, get rid of a little more of this heel root area so that stuff can get uh, grown once and for all. We're not doing so great on labor still. Uh, I think it's because, um, and of course, we have a marriage that's going to be happening. It's Kanuki and uh, whoever was sleeping with Kanuki, Pearson. Uh, so they're going to have a nice little marriage, which is going to be great. Why is there wood here? Oh, because they ripped up the floors to put down the carpet. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're starting to catch up a little bit on our construction. We're still burning the uh, bodies and the clothing from the raid that happened up here. Got a major break risk now, which was switched to a minor break risk. Everyone's starting to get healed. And one of the things that happened, and I have no idea what happened or where they ended up, but uh, that one guy that we were capturing just disappeared. I don't know if he died on the way back or, or what, but he's just totally gone. Uh, so, so much for that. No, no new uh, prisoners. And why is this not, is this like forbidden or anything? Why is this not getting hauled? All right, we'll just, we'll just leave him to it. Uh, They'll get there sooner or later. We're running a little light on Nutramine, especially because with the, uh, oh, our animals are giving birth, uh, because we're eating so much Nutramine up uh, by, you know, having the, uh, the Binoxacillin. So we'll have to see how that goes. We might have to, you know what we might actually have to do? Let's get this new animal sorted, keep them in the babby area, start training these guys up just like that. Perfect. Uh, we do need to chop some of these trees. Look at this area. It's just like totally... Here. Orders. Let's just chop all this wood. And this stuff still isn't getting chopped. I hear I hear people constructing. I think it's because construction is a higher priority. And this one isn't even getting chopped. Just these ones right here. Alright, so sooner or later... The stuff gets chopped. How are we doing on construction? Our best constructor is uh, Kanuki. So he's finally catching up on the carpets. And I think there's priorities because they did like the walls sooner than they did the carpets. Um, do another copy here. It's a little dark in there. Mitch, it's looking pretty dirty. Looking pretty dirty in here. It's got to be said. So let's, uh, let's get that moving. Why don't you start cleaning up in here, Mitch? I know how much you hate cleaning, but it's got to be done, and you're a man. If you want to get off of cleaning, you got to get one of these guys recruited once and for all, because, God, we've had these guys for so long, and they're just not coming in. Mitch, what else are you doing? You're training animals? No. What I want you to do is start chopping down some of these trees, because we're, like, out of wood as well. And do we have an open order? For making chem fuel let's let's uh here oops oops this is what we gotta do get rid of that that's part of the reason we're out of wood is because i set it to uh make like a thousand chem fuel before in hopes to be able to trade it but uh unfortunately we haven't had any traders that wanted our chem fuel yet so We'll just have to see what happens. Might put an order in for a trader. How are we doing on silver? We got 2,200. Um, more food poisoning from simple meals. And of course, you gotta you gotta cut down the trees around Edwards' grave, man. Let's get that going. Edwards needs sight lines because he was a what was it a tactician? So it's very important that we cut down the trees around Edwards' grave because he would hate to not be able to get. The full amount of uh, information he can get about the battlefield being a tacticianer. Uh, local turtle has gone mad. Jeez. 
Okay. Well, sooner or later, we'll get on that. Who's our other... It was Hector the Hunter, right? Well, guess what? You're going to come out here, and you're going to fight this turtle to the death. Oh, an elephant gave birth. This is great. All right. So let's get him here. There we go. Pop him. Don't get bit by a turtle. There you go, Hector. Now you can go back to whatever it was you're doing. Uh, let's head to animals and start training this elephant up. Just like this. Keep him in the babby area. And we'll train up these new dogs, too. we got to get rid of some of these dogs. we get so many dogs. Uh, this is a puppy. We don't want you following us into battle. Okay. Not doing so good on food. So, actually, we'll take the risk of them getting... Uh, we'll let them graze outside a little bit because we'll take the risk of them getting bitten by cobras and stuff just because until this corn comes in, we're so bad on plant matter. It's starting to come in, 71%. Uh, <clears throat> we're so low on plant matter that no matter how much hunting we do, we can't make kibble because it requires both uh, plant matter and uh, animal meat. So that's why I was doing, in between the videos there, I was doing some uh, raspberry bush cutting because quite important uh let's see what else is going on here harvest that sooner or later that'll get done uh let's also kind of carve out a little area here so that people can get through so they don't have to go all the way around like this you want to kind of make uh byways so that your your colonists can get through i set to build a new uh solar panel because we were running out of uh power but it just hasn't happened yet. Probably because we have no components. And speaking of that, the reason we have no components is because we haven't made yet. Well, we can actually still uh, mine components, but what I do want to make is one of the things that we have researched at this point is a component assembly bench. And it fits perfectly right here. So let's get that going. And sooner or later, when we get enough components, we can make that. And that'll allow us to just take steel and turn it straight up straight into um components directly uh so we can make our own components which is great um that happens what else do we have here we got uh got a major break risk on mitch he's out here hunting and he'll probably just go and uh <laughs> go back and uh eat some food and be better hopefully uh what was there was like a tool cupboard or something like that what was it under production Crematorium, deep drill. we got to make some deep drills as well. Uh, I thought we had a thing. Is it a misc? There's a thing. Ah, tool cabinet. Increases work speed. One works bench can only... So if we do this, this is going to help us uh, work faster. So what we can do is kind of like throw a tool cabinet. There's a good place. That hits most things right there. And we can also throw one in uh, right there. There, uh, there, uh, I don't know if that blocks people from getting two things. We'll just throw it in right there, okay. Uh, the tool cabinets are going to help people work a little faster, which is great. Uh, we also got crypto sleep caskets, but we don't have any uranium to make them. Um, and what that does is allows you to put somebody in sustain. Uh, oh no, we get a miscarriage due to starvation because we have no corn to feed to make kibble and feed the animals. Okay, um, what that allows you to do is like, if someone's hurt, you can put them in there and just worry about it later. Or you get a prisoner, you can throw them in there, worry about it later. Uh, or if you got enough labor and you don't want to keep feeding people, you can throw somebody in a crypto sleep casket. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we have here? Got that, got that. Just want to make sure I'm showing everything. Ah, the deep drill. All right, watch this. I got this thing turned off because it requires like a ton of power. But if I set this to turn on, right, and then we'll have Mitch turn it on real quick, okay? Now, when I look at this thing, see all these areas, these green areas? These are underground, like, ore areas. So they'll either have steel or chem fuel or plasteel or uranium. Uh, and what you do is you take a deep drill, right, and you set it up on one of them. And the smaller the thing, generally, the rarer the material. So I'm going to set this one up here. And what I'm also going to do is now that I've got that set up, I can just turn it right back off. Um, so we're not using power to 
excuse me, uh, to um, find stuff. Now that we know, okay, we're putting this thing down here. So let's get that going. And we also need power. We need some wires to get to this thing. So let's get Kanuki doing that. He's making uh, cloth carpets, but let's get him doing building this thing so we can see what's underneath because that's going to be a lot of fun. And this is a great, like once you have, and of course we haven't mined out all this stuff. We've got, you know, components to mine over here, just like this. And there's a bunch of steel still, but uh, especially for things like plasteel and uranium and gold that are very rare on the surface, you can find um, areas that uh, have it underground. So that's why we're doing the small thing. And you never know, it could be gold, it could be silver. Uh, it'll be any of the rare things steel is the most common and this is really good for when you have mined out your whole area but again because i'm recording a video i'm trying to like do everything at once and that's why my guys haven't been able to really catch up and i'm kind of behind on certain things and i would have done a lot more mining and stuff like that uh but we'll get there from here uh we please make the deep drill so that i can see it and show my friends on youtube all about the deep drill our animals are starving like crazy Boy, oh boy. That blight really burned us hard. All right, is it going to say... Ah, there's uranium underneath there. How do you like that? All right, let's get these uh, power conduits going. And how are we doing? We have, like, no food at all of any kind. So we're going to have to do some hunting. Let's get that built. Great. How are we doing on this corn? 68%. Not the best. Not the best at all. All right, let's find some stuff to hunt. Is it raining? No, so we can't. Clementine is being attacked by a cobra. Brilliant. I have a feeling Clementine is going to die. Yep. So, sorry about that, Clementine. But at least that's one less mouth to feed at this point. Ours is being attacked. Or Ari. Okay, these cobras are really... Okay, charge shot. This allows us to build the uh, pulse rifle. Or the... What was it? Pulse rifle? Charge rifle? Charge rifle, I think. All right, so we got that. Um, let's see, What is? let's go through all this other stuff here. Passive cooler is like a cooler that is temporary and doesn't allow you to, like it, you don't use electricity. So it's what you have, like if you're playing and you don't have electricity, you can use that in a pinch. Uh, brewing allows you to brew beer, but we have doobies, so who cares about that? The different kind of drugs you can make, sure. Hydroponics allows you to grow indoors, which would be nice, but uh, as it is, we've got really, really uh, good soil. It's just that, you know, blight sweeps through and kills all our corn, and then we're just beat. Uh, colored lights, auto doors. Colored lights just allow you to make different colored lights, which I guess are a little prettier. Uh, auto doors is doors that will automatically open, but the thing is when the power goes out, then they don't work, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so why waste the components? Smoke pop belts, explosive IEDs, incendiary IEDs, mortars, these are all like uh, things you can use to fight people uh, that I don't like. I'd rather just use guns and be done with it. This is uh, tube television. You can build them. It makes your colonists happier. Transport pods um, allow you to shoot your people across the map, uh, just like when you saw that... Uh, raid come in they came in on transport pods so you can load it up uh we're not going to be doing any of that package survival meal is the thing we started with which is a meal that doesn't go bad but it requires a crazy amount of food in order to make so you can kind of like stockpile them and stuff like that long range mineral scanner does the same as the ground penetrating scanner but for adjacent tiles so i guess if you're like oh we can't find uranium you, you use that and it says oh uranium is two squares this way you can make a second base moisture pump uh, pumps the moisture out of the air, uh, an area that's like marshy soil, but it takes a really long time. Multibar weapons allows you to make chain guns. You can make power armor. Shield belts are good for melee guys and shipbuilding. This is the end game right here. So let's start researching shipbuilding and it's going to take a while. Okay. We killed that Cobra. Going to unforbid the, uh, our pet dog. Cause of course we're going to eat him. Because that's what happens. Uh, do we have another place that's... Hold on. Let's look. Fertile soil. See, this is marshy soil. You could use those uh, things to suck the uh, marshiness out of, like, marsh. If you use the uh, the things, you can, you can make that uh, usable, buildable soil. But I'm looking for a place of fertile soil 
uh, close by. This is all just 100% fertile, 100% fertile. Like, I'm looking for a place like, like this stuff, where it's 140%, that's close by, and we'll do another uh, stretch of corn. This is all 100, 100, 100, 100. 100, 100. This is 100. <clears throat> Not, no luck. 70. Up here, 70. It's all marshy. So I'm not seeing anything that's that much better than 100. And maybe I should make a hydroponics lab. I don't know. Uh, how else are we doing? Do we have another um, area that we can put another geothermal down? Because that could be handy. Again, our labor situation is a little, little dicey. Let's mine some of this stuff up. Just like that. And man, the lag is real now. Boy, oh boy. All right, so that's uranium coming. Who's uranium? Uranium. Um, got to start. Got to start doing some more mining. It's very important because we're running low on materials, and we got to get some of this stuff done. But we are doing good on research. That's the one thing we're doing good on. Not good on food. Not good on <laughs> materials or construction. But we are doing good on research. So. Once that's done, that's done, and we don't have to worry about it. How are we doing on these prisoners? 82%, 96%, 63%, 89%. Man, I really wish that one of these prisoners would uh, join our, our, our little group. That would be nice. I thought it froze. Mitch is having a major break risk because he is hunting. We've got more major break risks. Where is uh, my doobies? There we are. Just Mitch. Okay. And we're not going to want them to use some Yayo. We just made them so that they can get sold. Because uh, they can get addicted to that, like, pretty much instantly. Whew. All right. So, just chugging along. Oh, good. We've got a lot of stuff we can hunt over here. Let's just hunt all this crap. Now, what we also might want to do, because power situation is not the best... Make another uh, one of these, and this time we're gonna put the floors are slate, slate tile, slate tile. One, two, three, four, five, and then just like that. Okay. So sooner or later, along with all this other stuff, that stuff will start to get constructed. Uh, people are starving left, right, and center. But we'll get there from here. Maybe I'll just make another cornfield out here and just... Yeah, that's what that's what we're doing. Maybe we'll do something different than corn. Let's see. I think rice grows really quickly. Let's see. I'm just clicking around randomly. All right. This is low fertile, medium fertile. Okay, we can harvest this guy here. And this isn't fertile at all. This is sandstone. We can't grow anything there. Uh, let's just... Alright. Growing zone. Put this in a nice, easy place to get to, at least. Right here. Right outside the thing. So at least, if they're growing there, they're going to... And they'll chop all these trees while they're at it. So growing zone, what we're going to do is we're going to grow... Corn takes a long time to grow, but it lasts a long time, and it's it's one of the best things. But rice is actually pretty quick to grow. So let's let's get rice going right there. That's what we're going to want to do. Oh, sorry about that. Hit the microphone stand. Um, we'll get that moving. Kim and Buzz form a bond. Kim's making friends with animals left, right, and center. Hopefully we can get some rice moving. People mining, yeah, they mined that uh, compact machinery. So the mining is happening, slowly but surely. So let's set some more mining over here. More starvation. More mining. We'll get as much steel as we can. And is there more components around here? Yes, there is. So let's get the components like that. Good. And I'm not messing around too much with the deep drills. Arthur food poisoning from bird meat. You don't eat raw bird meat. That's why, Arthur. This is day one stuff. Come on, man. 
All right. <laughs> so construction-wise, hmm, don't have that much of this. Slowly but surely. And Mitch, you're doing such a horrible job. Let's see how sleepy you are. Yeah, you're, you're super tired, so I'm not going to make you do it. But look how dirty this is, Mitch. This is your job. Take some pride in your job, man. Get some stuff cleaned. And we've got Thrumbos. I think we tried this earlier in the uh, in the playthrough. But we'll try to tame a Thrumbo. See what happens. I highly doubt we're going to get it. But it's worth a shot. I've never had a tame Thrumbo. I've killed Thrumbos before, but I've never actually tamed one before. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And actually, we've got a decent amount of uh, money right now. Well, let's let everybody sleep. I don't want to, you know, get them all breaking because uh because they don't get enough sleep and of course everything's filthy so not much can be done on that we've got no meals ready to go everyone's gonna eat raw ass meat anna's feeding our animals more raw meat this stuff still isn't deconstructed another small animal see this is why we use the baby zone because goddamn cobras and in the other biomes it's like mountain lions and stuff like that Major break. Mitch. What is... Alright, you're doing a simple meal. And of course, we're stuck on slow motion again. Where's Hector the Hunter? Come here, buddy. Kill this goddamn cobra. Thank you. Go about your business. Yes, yeah, Stone is no longer capable of walking. Okay. All right, so slowly but surely, we're getting this stuff. And actually, Hippo, come off of researching and start sowing some of this rice. We really need. And he only does one square at a time, which is brutal. Actually, this is what we're going to do. I mean, we need, you, uh, we need you researching, but I need you growing more so. So, Hippo, let's get some of this rice planted, will, he, will you? I'm going to start clearing this area out. Chopping down all the trees, which gives us some wood that we can work with later. Our wood area is starting to fill up, which is great. And we'll see if we can get this stuff grown. The corn. Oh, the corn's getting there. All right. We're about to break through this hunger hunger uh, situation, I think, which is going to be great. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a cutaway again. I've just basically played for 20 minutes without doing a cutaway. But I want to I really do some catching up and uh, see if we can get ourselves on our feet get some of this research done so let's see what else happens i'll catch you guys in a few all right we're back we're starting to catch up a little we're still not so great on food but the corn's almost growing in i i harvested a little bit of it there uh the rice is all planted and we had a let me just make sure we got all this stuff sorted out i don't want my elephant calves following us into battle all right uh we did have a bulk goods vendor come by one of the trade ships so you see we're doing really good on silver i got rid of all that chem fuel and stuff like that and a bunch of the spare leather but what we have up here now is another siege so we're gonna get the squad together everyone up out of bed up and at them maybe we'll capture somebody this time and they won't die on the way to the prison cell and let's see how this goes all right so they started shooting want to get just the outside of our range here and kind of fan them out a little bit as best we can a couple of their guys have clubs and stuff and short range guns so they're having to cross cross no man's land oh they're fleeing that was quick all right now Everybody took damage there, so let's see. Rest until healed. Rest until healed. Actually, some of these guys had a fight with a panther, so they're actually uh, healed, I think. Oh, Hippo's really hurt. Reserved by Mitch. Reserved by Logan. Reserved... Oh. Just until he okay. So we'll get them going. We only have like two people out uh, that are available. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? We got. Oh, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Get our animals. Haul all this stuff. 
And the food is very nice. Good. Nobody went down, so none of our weapons are on the ground. We just we just took an even amount of peppering from everybody. Uh, F, oh, Luciferium. We're gonna leave that leave that alone until we get a chance to burn it. Um, all right. So let's see. Uh, this guy incapable of caring, not a problem. Is very pretty, and incapable of intellectual or artistic, not a bad deal. Careful shooter. Hmm. So either one of these guys. Do we have two? Two spots. All right. Neither one of these guys are that that bad. This guy's like really good at shooting. Uh, I mean, not that it matters because at the rate we're going, we have not had like absolutely anybody join our colony in a very long time. This guy looks more damaged, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna capture Bowman. So strip, strip. And then Kim, capture Bowman, Pearson, destroy. Okay. And on your way back, well, actually, definitely use some raspberries. <laughs> it's all about priorities. <laughs> oh, you're just going to eat them right away. Okay, so bring these... Uh, Haul something back on your way back. There we go. All right. So that's another siege done. Extreme, extreme break risk from Mitch. Let's try to get... There we go. Bowman's in bed. How are we doing on health? Uh, you need help. You need help. You need help. You need help. You don't need help. So you get up and tend to hippo. And you need help. Okay. Let's get more of these people. Tending to people. Try to get everybody un undamaged as best as we can and as quick as we can. Logan, start tending. And actually, Logan, Logan's hurt too. Logan needs a, a little bit of tending himself. So as soon as he's done with that, he's going to rest until healed. All right, Bambi, you're better. Oh, shit. Bowman has got an infection. Oh, this is our new guy. All right, Pearson's already tending to him. Already doctoring. Okay, good. Just trying to, like, triage all this stuff. Mitch, have you been healed? Where are you, Mitch? Come on. All right. You're malnourished as hell. And I did this to try to get... I forbid some of these uh, corn. Just to try to get my... Uh, Thing. All right, Mitch, you can get up. He still needs healed. He can get up. He can get up. Generally, I'd like to leave people in bed, but we need, um, really need people to, to start getting all this stuff sorted out. Oh, there was a social fight because of an insult, and now Mitch is back into the, back into the old hospital. Your tibia got cracked from a human fist. Pearson, take care. <laughs> oh, man. Nope. Here, clean some blood while you're, while you're passing by. Now, Black is going berserk. So, let's get the uh, the old firing squad out, ready to go. Kanuki, stand back. Okay, now, there you go. It's <laughs> Kanuki can also rest until... Oh, God. This is just... A mess. Capture. There we go. Capture. Oh, for... <clears throat> because he broke the door, we can't capture him. And now you're... Oh, man, come on. There you go. Fix that. Somebody else has an infection now. We'll copy this door back. This is over. Bowman has got another other infection? What? Or it just needs... Yeah, you're, you're really not doing so good. Anna, tend to Bowman. Kanuki, fix this building. Colonist needs treatment as Kanuki. 
because he's all cracked to hell. Oh, psychic drone is ending. Okay, well, some of our brake risks will be done, which would be nice. Construction failed. Jesus. Just rest until healed. And Anna, what are you doing? You're resting? Afraid not. Man, our labor situation is not brilliant. No matter what, whatever we do is like... Let's see if we can help this guy out. Oh God, severe illness. We have not gotten a prisoner to join our cause in a very, very long time. And now we got situate power situation. Bambi Clerk is fully healed. Black not looking so good. Bowman. Both infections have been tended. Oh nope. Needs tending again. Great. A little bit of downward pressure on our uh, medic medicine situation. Mitch, what are you doing? Alright, you're you're alright. Start cleaning some of this stuff out. Oh, for shit's sake! Great. Now you both have to rest until healed. Rest until healed. And now we gotta get Anna, who's consuming a simple meal, into... Alright, somebody's doctoring. Okay, they're getting doctored. Major breaks. All around. How are we doing on food? We haven't done any hunting. Uh, we've got all our animals outside, so they're getting... Oh, man. Look at this. This is brutal. Buffy has had a heart attack. Oh, <laughs> hell. Kim, tend to Buffy. Can we please get some of these guys to join our squad? Another berserk mental break. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, let's get Hippo and, Bam and Bambi out. Nope. Oh, there we go. Just shoot the hell out of this guy when he breaks through this door. We're also going to hunt that. While we're at it, you guys can shoot that. While we're waiting for him to break through the stupid door. And now he's been headshot. Do we have another spare bed? Probably not. No, we do. Alright, there's prisoners. Uh, let's get Bambi to capture. Wolf and un... Nope. Capture. Hippo, you can get undrafted. <sighs> this is absolutely brutal. Alright, Kim, what are you doing? Tending to Wolf? Good, that's what we need. Wolf has been headshotted now. Extremely mal malnourished, which is not a big shock. All these guys are... Alright, you can get up. Man, look at all this triage I'm doing. Alright. So, uh, the video's been going on for a while. I think I did a little more than uh, 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I appreciate it very much if you're watching this video and this video series. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.